mechanics of breathing. I guess the first thing we want to do is actually, before we get to the breathing bit specifically, we want to talk about mechanics. We want to make sure that we understand that breathing is a mechanical process. It involves pressure changes. And the way that our human system achieves pressure changes in this, in this set, that's an N in there, by the way, in this sense, at least, is through muscular contraction and relaxation, actually. So it's muscles that cause these pressure changes and effectively cause air to move in and out of our lungs, the process of inspiration, expiration. So it's all about mechanics, pressure changes, muscles, right? That's one of the things we want to get across right from the get-go. Now, I think a good place to start here is to have a look at the diaphragm. So we've got this muscle, the diaphragm. Let me go for a slightly darker colour here, the diaphragm. And we can see this diaphragm, it's kind of domed here. Now, I want to be clear, guys, this is the relaxation state, okay? This is in relaxation state. What happens when the diaphragm contracts, it actually flattens to roughly this position. I've gone a bit far, actually, but it flattens to this position. It pushes the ribs out like this, and it kind of forces them to lift up a little bit. So when the diaphragm contracts, that causes us to breathe in, inspiration. So one of the things we can say straight away is inspiration, breathing in, inspiration, at rest, we have got diaphragm contracting, okay? So when the diaphragm contracts, it flattens, diaphragm contracting, it flattened, and that causes the space inside the chest to get bigger. Look, this space here would open up, get bigger from where it was previously, and that would decrease pressure in the chest and in the thoracic cavity and air would move inwards. Now, the other thing we want to be aware of, folks, is that we have muscles called intercostal muscles. Here they are over here. And you can see, if I was just to shade a couple in, it's here, it's here, they are between the ribs. And we should not be surprised by that because inter means between and costa means rib, okay? Not like the coffee shop. But anyway, that these muscles are between the ribs. Now, when these muscles, the intercostals, contract, they contract and pull upwards. They pull upwards. So if they pull upwards, when we're breathing in at rest intercostals are contracting and what do they do they lift the ribs up intercostals contracting they lift the ribs up and that of course increases the space inside the thoracic cavity decreases the pressure and air rushes in so inspiration at rest the diaphragm the intercostal muscles um, they contract now this is where in my opinion at least it gets interesting you might be expecting me to go on to sternocleidomastoids petrol abdominals we're going to come back to that but when we're talking about breathing out at rest or expiration at rest, there are no muscular contractions. Hmm, James, hang on a second. You're saying to, for me to breathe out, I forced that a bit, but at rest, nothing contracts exactly that, folks. What happens is the diaphragm, the diaphragm relaxes and domes. Look, I'll put domes in sort of brackets here. So what does the diaphragm do? It goes back to this position here. Notice what's happened to this shaded part of the cavity now. It's smaller, okay? So of course the pressure goes up, air is pushed out. And also the intercostals relax, <laughs> relax even. So we can actually say the expiration is a passive process. It's actually relaxation of muscles. And when we're resting, me sitting here at my dining room table right now with a microphone in my face, that's what's going on, okay? But things change when we are exercising. So let's now think about inhalation. Let me go for a different color. Inhalation. In fact, I'm gonna say inspiration. You can use inhalation as well, but I'm gonna use inspiration. In inhalation is absolutely fine. Inspiration during exercise. So this is now, maybe we've started a cross country run or on a 20 minute training run, or we're doing a warm up in our hockey training, or uh, we, we've started uh, we started a, a two minute session bouncing on the trampoline, whatever it happens to be, okay? Inspiration during exercise, what happens? Well, we are breathing in, inhalation, inspiration. So a couple of additional muscles contribute. First of all, this, I mean, and I'm sorry to do it to you guys, the sternocleidomastoid is a ridiculous name for muscle. The thing I would draw attention to is sterno. It attaches here to the stern, and that should help you a little bit. But the sternocleidomastoid, effectively, it pulls up, up in this way, and it helps to lift the ribs up and further, specifically the sternum. So we've got the sternocleidomastoid, what a word, contracts. And that further lifts the sternum and the ribs up, increasing the space inside. We've also got our pectoral muscles here. 
these pectoral muscles they kind of contract up and outwards this way further lifting the ribs upwards so the pectorals contract but what i'm going to say here guys is incredibly important diaphragm and and intercostals contract harder okay so they're still contracting just as it at rest but they contract harder now because they contract harder this further increases the size within the thoracic cavity this further decreases the pressure inside the cavity therefore more air rushes in to the lungs because of that pressure difference now breathing out guys breathing out remains a passive process process so if we go for exp expiration or exhalation i'll put both expiration exhalation means the same thing expiration exhalation okay if we, we put an a in there okay what we've got here is that our diaphragm relaxes our intercostals relax and that happens in exactly the same way but what we also get is that the abdominal muscle i'm going to specifically sort of shade this one sort of icy blue the abdominal muscles here they contract and they pull downwards pull downwards so what we've got here see if i can get my color back what we've got here is the abdominals contract and this is really what i want you to get the, in the idea of guys because the abdominals contract this increases the rate of x ex, of expiration or exhalation now it might seem well it's really good to go faster and breathe out faster but the biggest advantage of breathing out faster is you is that once you do that you can breathe in earlier and of course the in bit is where we're ex we're extracting that oxygen for the air we're bringing in sooner therefore we can process it quicker so that's the mechanics of breathing guys i really want you to get to grips with the muscles that are involved but please always draw back to the premise that we're talking about pressure changes and muscles creating this pressure change and i think the critical thing from my perspective is that you guys can understand that if the chest cavity if it increases if it increases in internal area you know effectively when we're breathing in air will rush in if it decreases in internal area effectively breathing out air will rush out and that's ultimately what we're talking about and it's the muscles that create that impact